Hey guys, it's Kim Dow here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 50 things that you can do in Seoul. I've traveled to Seoul a couple of times in the past few years, so I compiled my 50 favorite things to do, places to shop, and also places to eat. So hopefully this video will be helpful, especially for those traveling to Seoul. Just before I start this video, please give this video a thumbs up if you plan to travel to Seoul anytime soon, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I'll try and make more videos like this, and let's just start the video. Shop in Myeongdong Myeongdong is a place you have to visit if you want to do lots of shopping. They literally have all the shops you're probably looking for in one area. There are streets and streets of just shopping and restaurants. It's a great place to hang out. Try the rose shaped ice cream. This is seriously probably going to be the prettiest ice cream you will ever eat. It is amazing, especially on a hot day in Seoul. Eat street food. Street food is amazing in Seoul. They typically open up at night time, so make sure you guys stay up and go take a look. There is lots and lots of street food in Myeongdong. Shop at Style Nanda. Style Nanda has the makeup brand 3CE in their stores, so you'll be able to purchase the items there. They also have the latest trends in clothing, so make sure you check it out. Eat bibimbap. Bibimbap means mixed rice with meat and assorted vegetables. It's a dish which you stir and mix all the ingredients first before eating. It's a healthy dish and is one of the most popular Korean dishes. Take a break at Ocelok. Ocelok is a famous cafe in Korea. They serve amazing drinks as well as desserts. It is a great place to hang out and chill with friends. Eat at Myeongdong Kyoja. This is an extremely popular gyoza restaurant, so make sure you get in early to avoid long lines. The gyoza here is absolutely delicious and go really well with noodles. The price is also really good. Try out Bingsu. Bingsu is one of the most popular Korean desserts. Bingsu is shaped ice and is usually topped off with condensed milk, syrups and fruit. Shop at Etude House. It's one of the most popular Korean brands that you must shop at. The items are at affordable prices and they are also really high quality. They always release new items so make sure you check back often. Eat Budejige. Kodejige is a spicy dish and is known as army stew. They have noodles, sausages, spam, dumplings and vegetables mixed inside it. It's one of my favourite dishes in Korea. Hello Kitty Cafe So in Myeongdong, if you want to take a quick rest from all the shopping, visit the Hello Kitty Cafe for a quick drink and dessert. The whole cafe is pink and the food is all really cute. Take the subway in Seoul. The subway is really easy to take in Seoul and it's also really convenient to use. You can use this to travel around really easily and also it's very affordable. Visit the Gangnam District. This place is one of my favorite places to hang out in Seoul. There are so many trendy cafes, restaurants and shops around this area. Nightlife is great and there is always something going on here. Shop at Artbox. Artbox is a store in Korea that sells cute stationery and lifestyle goods. They also have imported goods mainly from Japan so make sure you check the store out. Eat duck galbi. Hakkaobi is a spicy grilled chicken dish that is easy to share between friends. Afterwards, you can choose to mix rice in your dish to finish it off. Visit the Kakao Friend Store. Kakao Talk is used by most Koreans to communicate. And at the Kakao Store, you're able to buy merchandise based off the characters on Kakao Talk. Eat Kimbap. Kimbap is a Korean sushi roll. It is sweeter than normal sushi and usually contains vegetables, eggs, and meat inside. Usually it has colorful ingredients. 
Shop at Gangnam Underground Station. Gangnam Underground Station is shopping heaven for those interested in Korean fashion. If you're looking for cheap clothes and shoes, this is the place to go. There are so many shops here, it's so easy to get lost. Try a Korean lunchbox, Tosirak. Tosirak is a Korean lunchbox that is usually an appetizer. You mix all the contents together to enjoy. Usually, you close the lunchbox and then shake it to mix all the ingredients together. Visit the Hangang Park. It is a beautiful and peaceful place with great scenery along the Han River. It is a popular place to hang out and have a picnic at. A lot of people order takeaway to enjoy with friends at the park while enjoying the beautiful atmosphere. Shop at Spa. Spa is a Korean clothing brand and they mainly focus on just casual fashion but they also have a lot of collaborations such as Pokemon so this is a store to check out to see if you've got some of your favorite characters here. Eat Tteokbokki Tteokbokki is rice cakes and this is usually a spicy dish with fish cakes and vegetables. It is an amazing side dish to have with your Korean food. Visit the Changdeokgung Palace Chandokgung is part of the UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. It is inside a large park. It has a long history and it's where the royal family lived. There's also a secret garden inside the palace. Visit the Bukchon Hanok Village. The Hanok Village is a traditional village in Korea with a lot of history. It is a great place to see the traditional side of Korea as it is close to the palaces. Visit the Enso Tower. The Seoul Tower is an observatory where you can go up and see a beautiful view of Seoul. It is right next to the Love Lock, so it's a perfect place for a date with a loved one. Right on a Love Lock at Seoul Tower. Just before you go up the Seoul Tower, you will see a place where there are thousands of Love Locks. You can purchase a lock for yourself, write a message to your loved ones, and lock it. Visit the Dragon Hill Spa. For a Korean Jim J. Bang experience, which is a Korean sauna experience, Dragon Hill Spa is one of the most popular places to go. It is a public bath place. After a bath, enjoy a rice drink as well as eggs. Visit Intadong. Intadong is a great place to explore as you're able to go into small streets and discover different shops and restaurants. It's famous for the traditional culture and crafts. Shop in Hongdae. Hongdae is an amazing area for shopping and food. It's a lively area filled with young people because it's close to the university. If you want to find the latest trends, then this is the place to go. Eat Korean Fried Chicken Fried chicken is very famous in Korea. BHC chicken is one of my favorites. Definitely try their cheese chicken. You will not go back once you've tried it. Shop at Chu. Chu is a Korean clothing brand that is catered towards more of the younger look. They have some really cute clothing pieces for really affordable prices. If you are looking for cute skirts, this is the place to go. Eat Korean barbecue. If you are in Korea, you must eat Korean barbecue here. You can find Korean barbecue restaurants almost at every block in Korea. It is probably one of the most popular things to eat. Visit the Innisfree Cafe. Innisfree is a popular Korean makeup and skincare brand. They also have cafes which have food from natural ingredients. Their drinks are always a favorite. Take Korean cooking classes. Korean cooking classes are great fun and you can learn how to make some authentic Korean dishes. Take a class with your friends and you'll be able to bring back some skills and memories back home. Visit a dog cafe. There are many dog cafes in Korea and they're filled with dogs who just want your attention. Go inside and enjoy a meal while enjoying the companies of dogs at the same time. You can bring your own dog or play with other dogs there. Shop at Moonshot. If you are a fan of YG family artists and makeup, this is a place you have to check out that has makeup items based off artists in the YG family.
shop at Express Bus Terminal. Express Bus Terminal is a huge underground mall that has a lot, and I mean a lot, of stores. There are clothes for all ages on one side and furniture on the other side. Eat Korean Ramen Ramen is one of my favourites. It's spicy with lots of flavour. It's usually topped off with some vegetables, meat, rice cakes or dumplings. Most restaurants should have this dish. Visit Karosukyo. Karosukyo is a trendy place in the Shinsa area. There are lots of great restaurants as well as shops down the street. And there are also a lot of trendy cafes around here. Make sure you go to the smaller streets too as there are a lot of hidden gems here. Eat unique ice cream flavours. Korea is very bold with their different flavours, so why not try out some different flavour ice cream while you can? They all taste really good even if some of them sound a bit weird. Try Jajangmyeon, a delicious Korean Chinese dish that usually consists of noodles, vegetables and black bean sauce. Mix it around and enjoy the flavours. Shop at Coex Mall. Coex is the largest underground shopping mall in Asia. It is in the Gangnam district and it has a wide range of different stores. If you are after Korean clothing brands, this is the place to go. Visit SM Town. If you are a fan of SM artists, then you must visit SM Town. They have lots of K-pop merchandise as well as exhibits of costumes and awards their K-pop idols have won. Visit the K-pop cafe. If you are a fan of SM Town artists, then you can check out this cafe. It has incredible interior with CDs from SM Town artists. The food is also a mix between Western and Korean cuisine. Take a K-pop dance lesson. If you are a fan of K-pop, then I highly recommend a K-pop dance lesson. Even if you aren't a K-pop fan, it is still a lot of fun. SM Town lets you take dance classes with actual instructors who will teach you the moves to your favorite K-pop song. Buy K-pop merchandise. Of course, if you love K-pop, you have to stock up on K-pop merchandise. And you'll be able to find K-pop merchandise in a lot of places in Korea as they are so big. Try jumukbap, which is a Korean rice ball. Jumukbap, which directly translates to fist rice, is something you need to try out. You mix the ingredients with your hand and make the rice balls with a fist motion with your hand. Visit the Lotte World Tower. The Lotte World Tower is a skyscraper that is the third highest observatory and the fifth tallest building in the world. Go up and see a beautiful view of Seoul. Eat Samgyetang. Samgyetang is a chicken ginseng soup. It's a boiled chicken stuffed with rice. It is an amazing dish that is also quite healthy. Go to Norebang with friends. also known as karaoke, is very popular in Korea. Rent out a room with friends and sing your heart away to your favourite songs. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. So if you've been to Seoul before and I've left out your favourite things to do, please let me know in the comment box below so other people can check it out as well. Once again, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And also follow me on my social media which I'll link over here and also down below. Thanks guys for watching again. If you have any more requests for videos, let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!